Hi there. Well, today's video is something different for all of you plant lovers who don't know when to water your plants. This is the latest device from Apollo. It's called the PLT-1 and it'll help you to look after your plants. The PLT-1, they're calling the ultimate plant sensor for Home Assistant. And this is because it's running on good old ESP Home. Uh, so having a look at what the sensor's got, first of all, it is designed for indoor measurement. Yeah, we've got the soil moisture, we've got air temperature, humidity, uh, lux or light and UV, and it also has the little piezo buzzer as well as an RGB LED on the system. Now they do have a battery version of the sensor as well that will be coming out in a month's time. The beauty about this is they even offer you the 3D printable file. So should your sensor get damaged, the casing, you can print yourself another one. So having a look at the device, I really like the green color they've chosen to print this case with. And you can see here, you've got the capacitive soil sensor. Having a close look at this device, you can see we've got our RGB LED over here. We've got a reset button and a boot button. We've got our light sensor and our ESP32. On the back side of the board, you can see we've got a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is used for the temperature sensor. We've got our power supply coming in through here at USB-C. Along with this uh, comes our soil temperature sensor. So this is a Dallas temperature sensor with a 3.5 millimeter jack plug. And you can get these either in a short lead like this or a longer lead. So having a look at the sensor inside of Home Assistant, We've first of all got control over that RGB little light inside the sensor. Then coming down here, we've got the actual sensors. So first thing we've got here is the air humidity. Now I did need to adjust this with the offset, which is offsetting it based on the temperature that's created by the ESP32 within the device. So it reduces the humidity. Um, temperature, once again, I've got an offset here of six degrees which is allowing for that temperature created within the device. Then we've got a light sensor. So you can see here over the day inside my kitchen where this plant is at the moment, you can see how the light has peaked in the morning and then we can see the fall off in the afternoon. It's also got this UV index. So that's another light type index sensor. Then of course, we've got our most important sensor here, the soil sensor. So you'll see here that the plant that I've got it in at the moment uh, kicked off at 70%. Um, I then watered it thoroughly and it went right up to 93%. And then as the water drained out of the soil there, it's a fairly easy draining pot plant soil. You can see it's come down to 89%. And then over the period of a day, that is reduced down to now 88%. So it looks like the sensor is really super sensitive. So having a look at the last sensor here, we've got the soil temperature. We can configure obviously here the air humidity and temperature offsets. Uh, we can do our updates. Now all of this part over here, this is the sleep control. So obviously because we're running the powered version, not the battery version, we're not gonna be worried about the sleep mode. Down the bottom here, last of all, we've got the diagnostics. So this is showing us our ESP temperature. You can see there it's sitting quite comfortably around the 32 degrees. Uh, we can see our firmware for some reason or other that's not showing the version. Uh, it's connected at the moment. It's showing us our connection radio strength. Now I have created a little automation here using the buzzer within the device. So what I've said is I want to know at 6 a.m. in the morning, I want to uh, trigger this automation. And then what I want to do is I want to see what is the percentage of moisture. I want to know when it falls below 60%. I want it to alert me. And the way I'm doing that is I'm creating an action on the ESP Home PLT play buzzer. Um, I'm selecting play the buzzer, which calls the service to play the buzzer. And then I've stuck a little tune inside there. This is, you can find these uh, tunes online. You can just paste them in over there. And then that will play every morning at six o'clock, a little tune if I'm below 60%, reminding me to go and water the plant before I head off for my day. Well, that's all for today. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.